Alrighty, man, we got a lot to do. We got a lot to do. So what you want to do is go ahead and get into the YouTube training. And let me go ahead and say why. There's a lot of things you got to do to set up your YouTube channel to make a lot of money that's not predicated on AdSense. I don't make the majority of my money on AdSense. Like last month, I made like 2,500 bucks. So you've got two ways to get into this YouTube training. You can go ahead and jump into the Corpuses and Playbook Power Book, and you can use promo code YouTube or you can get into the payment plan. And one of the things that we have going on with this is right now, uh, I've set it up where the YouTube course now has a payment plan. Let me go ahead and explain some stuff to you. You wanna go ahead, cause there's a lot of things that you have to do to set up your YouTube channel, to set up your business. So whatever way you want to get in if you want to get the youtube course by itself or you want to go ahead and get into the corporate citizen playbook and I, I can tell you right now that the price of the youtube training is going to go up dramatically once i'm finished it and this month i'm going to be focusing on the youtube training which should take the whole month to do so we'll teach you how to make a lot of money from a small YouTube channel. Go ahead, get in today because there's a lot you gotta learn. And today is Sunday, it's a power day. I'm gonna be adding a lot of content, a lot of training to the YouTube course. My name is Glenn and Cameron. I'll see you guys in the next one. What's going on? Let's talk about the business of YouTube. Now, Right now, there's a ton of people coming over from TikTok, coming over from Instagram, coming over from Facebook. They're all running the YouTube because YouTube undeniably has the highest income potential of virtually any platform. But here's one of the things that I find to be very intriguing with all these people coming to the platform. There are 51 million YouTube channels and growing. In 2020, it was 31 million YouTube channels. So YouTube has almost doubled in size in less than three years. But this is interesting. The number of channels with 100,000 subscribers was 288,000 in 2020. They went up to 326. So 50,000 channels moved up into that range. But the number of YouTube channels has almost, you know, close to doubling. I would say by the end of this year, there'll probably be 61 million YouTube channels. And this is the thing. The majority of people running to the YouTube platform do not have any thought, structure, or organization for a YouTube channel. I met someone who actually has an escort for his YouTube, and he has multiple YouTube channels, so he has a YouTube business, and I thought that was really smart. The average person who comes to YouTube doesn't have an LLC, doesn't have an EIN, doesn't have a business checking account. And why is that? The average person coming to YouTube to create a YouTube channel, going back to my video before this one, that hope and pray strategy. No business mindset. No business mindset whatsoever. In 2009, I came to YouTube and my first 15, 16 months, I made $62,000 that first 16 months. And then the next year, I made 92,000. And then the third year, I made 1.5. Full clarity and explanation on that. The 1.5 did not come from YouTube. 
or did it? Let me explain to you what happened. I created the YouTube channel talking about how to buy storage units. And then I wrote a book. And then I had a blog. Message. I just gave you a message there. I just gave you a message. And because I started on YouTube before the storage wars and auction hunter shows came on television, I beat those shows by 15 to maybe 18 months. So I was already positioned. So, you know, did the 1.5 million come directly from YouTube channel? No, it did not. Or did it? Because I'm kind of a little unclear on that because here's the thing. If I hadn't started the YouTube channel, if I hadn't started the blog, and if I hadn't wrote the book, I never would have made that money. It would have never happened. So it's kind of, did the people watching my YouTube channel buy the book? Some did, but the majority of that money came from, I would say Google, because people will watch the shows, go in Google storage auction, bam, find my YouTube channel, bam, find my blog, bam, find my book. And that was the principle that I started my YouTube channel on with a business. I didn't start a YouTube channel and you know, 2009 to 2017, I was pretty much on the business tip in some shape, fashion or form, pretty much. And then, um, I got a little stupid. I will take accountability. I got a little stupid. In 2017, I started doing some stuff. I was going to Vid Summit. Daryl Eves, he's a really good guy. Daryl Eves, he sponsors Vid Summit. I think Mr. Beast bought part of that. And I went to the third Vid Summit, the third the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh bid summit. And it was real interesting to get around other people who were in the business of YouTube because these were business people. They were making, they were doing YouTube videos to make money and it, it was really different. But there are so many people who do not understand the business of YouTube. Now I've had a bunch of channels fail and this is so funny. This, this is, this is hilarious. I had my little channel trolls. It's like, well, if you didn't have that channel, you know, it's like, and it, it brings back this expression. Those who are doing less than you will always criticize you. And that was the, the whole snapshot, the snapshot of these people, because one of the things I discovered from uh, creating multiple channels, and I will explain to you why they failed. One of the reasons that my channels failed, and this is a lesson for you. Message. When you start a new YouTube channel, you do not want to let your old YouTube channel visitors know that you started a new YouTube channel unless you want those people to go to your new YouTube channel, which is a great way to grow your channel, but what's going to happen. And this is one of the things that I can tell you from personal experience, how the YouTube algorithm works. So let's say you've got three channels. You got a channel talking about money, you got a channel talking about cars, you got a channel talking about clothes. Your first channel was a car channel. And then every time you launch a new YouTube channel, you let audience members in these older YouTube channels know that you've launched a new YouTube channel. So what you're going to find out is your audience is going to be the same across all channels, which is going to limit you, limit you greatly. This is what I have found from personal experience. Um, one of the things that I'm going to do during the YouTube training, and let me go ahead and say this. Um, I've had many people say, Hey man, let us know what the new, new YouTube channel is. Okay. 
I can't do that because if I do that, what's going to happen is the people, because once again, let me say this. Uh, I have a lot of really good, loyal, dedicated, supportive subscribers and video watchers. And I want to say thank you to you guys. I really appreciate you. Now, with that said, I have a group of, well, I had, let's say I used to have, because the number of crazy people has gone from this to like, I mean, I've not had to take down a crazy comment going on four weeks. That's like the first time that this has happened since the crazy phase. So once again, we have a really good, supportive, strong group of people watching the channel. I really appreciate you. And one of the things that would happen, you know, because these people that I would not want to go to my new YouTube channel, they're still around. They're just kind of waiting for a message. Like if I went to the community page and put up, hey guys, I started this new YouTube channel, go over here. Guess who would be the first people to sign up for the new YouTube channel? This group of people. And that's one of the things, because <clears throat> the business of YouTube is 100% dedicated and predicated on the audience. So let's go ahead and say, going back, you have your three card, your three channels, car channel, money channel, clothing channel, and you have the same audience going across all three channels, right? What this tells the YouTube algorithm is to go out and recruit people who are in that audience, regardless of the content. Um, my Savage Finance channel really started off really, really well. Really, really well. Because it was a money channel, I was putting up videos, and I will say, I can tell you exactly why that channel tanked. I put up a video talking about how to get a lot of money from PayPal with no credit check. The video's got like, I think 200, to almost three, two, I don't even know, I haven't even looked. But I know last time I looked, it had over 200,000 views. That channel, that video wrecked the Savage Finance channel. Completely wrecked the Savage Finance channel. Completely annihilated the Savage Finance channel. So, one of the things, you know, I've learned, I've been on YouTube 14 going on 15 years. I've learned a lot. And one of the things that I learned by doing, I learned by making mistakes. And one of the things that I have learned is like, I'm pretty much, look, I'm, you know what? I'm going to tell you the grand plan, all right? And I have to do this in sequence. I have to do this in stages. It's not something that I can just snap my fingers and make it all happen. So, right now, my YouTube channels are damaged. They're damaged. They, like last month, between all three of them, I got like a hundred and 30,000 views, which is the most views I've gotten all year. And because my channels were damaged. Now, step by step, I'm going to go out and create new YouTube channels. And I'm not gonna let the old audience know. Some people will find the channels. And let me just say this. If you find the channel, don't be like, oh man, I found one. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just. Go ahead, subscribe, enjoy the content, be happy, be peaceful, be a good, be a good subscriber. And what, what, cause what I've learned is that I can start a brand new YouTube channel talking about the same things I'm talking about here and get a newer audience. And cause your audience, your audience is everything. Your audience is everything. Your audience will make or break your YouTube channel and uh, I was doing some research on one of the new channel names. The name is taken by someone who is in that hip hop, well, not hip hop life. I don't even know what to call it. He looks to be Pakistani, Iranian, dark hair in a tail and 
the private jets and I'm sitting there like, ah, I don't even want to be affiliated with anything like that. So that's a no, we're not going to use that channel name. But what I have noticed is, well, well what I know, what I know, I'm going to speak from personal experience that I can go ahead and create three more YouTube channels that will get more views than my current channels. I know this. It's just a matter of me setting up that pathway, setting that up um, and doing things a little different. Just about 10, 15% different. Because once again, <clears throat> I need to say this. Uh, at one point I was having some very strategic issues with YouTube. And then once again, I had to raise my level of accountability. And it's like, look, you, you put this content out. You're the one that got this audience based upon the content that you put out. Take ownership. And I took ownership and I can see changes. Um, like I can tell you, uh, people who are coming to the channel, there are new people coming to the YouTube channel. The people who are subscribing to the money course, uh, one of the things I would do is I would take their name and I would throw it off in, in the Facebook. Guess what? Got a lot of non-black folks signing up for that course, which is what I want. We have a lot of black folks signing up for that course, but we got a lot of non-black folks. We got some Asian folks. We got, and I would like take their name, throw it in the Facebook search bar and like, oh, this is who this is. This is who this is. This is who this is. So the revamp, the reflex is happening. So this is, this is, this is why this is complicated. I have the reflex, the revamp of the YouTube channels, the revamp of the training, the revamp of my business. And then I'm going to go out and start some new YouTube channels. <laughs> I know it's, it, it's, it's a lot. And this is why I am pretty much working harder in more than I normally would be working. But once again, I s suspect that by, let's say October, well, the, the deadline to get everything done is December, but I think that I would get a lot of these things done by October, I think, but I'm not sure, but I'm not sure. And this is about the business of YouTube, because if you approach YouTube with a business mindset, because right now um, I am not mentioning any names, but I have seen a lot of brand new YouTubers come on the platform with nothing but foolishness. And I'm, I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about. You have a YouTube channel talking about making money, okay? And there's nothing about you that says you make money. Not your clothing, not the place that you're filming in. Nothing says that you're making, nothing, nothing. And I'm just sitting there like, or my, my favorite, this one video with this, was this platform and one of the guys from the platform was filming a video in his very small bedroom and the bed was like right there. I was just sitting there like, let me go ahead and explain something to you guys. When you watch a video, there's your conscious mind, there's your subconscious mind. And there will be things in this video that will blatantly tell you if the person is um, full of, Full of garbage if the person's trying to scam you there there's things that you know if you pay attention to it nothing will happen to you if you don't pay attention to these little feelings and stuff yeah you will you will get gotten you will be on the the, the train so with the business of youtube and setting up youtube and doing youtube the average content creator because you go ahead and you set up a YouTube channel and you start creating you, you're therefore a content creator 
has no idea of the vast business opportunities of YouTube. They have no opportunity. Uh, this is stuff that I cover in my training. There are so many things that you can do if you know that you can do them. If you understand that you can do them. There are so many things that I'm getting ready to do because if you know this, and I'll, I'll talk about this, um, my inbox is full of affiliate offers. Every morning I wake up, there's at least three to 10 every day. Like, hey, this is company, we want to use your YouTube channel. And I virtually ignore the vast majority of them because the products and services that they offer have nothing to do with my content. So it's an automatic, that's a no, that's a no, we're not gonna do this. And also, I use my YouTube channel to sell my own stuff, so I don't want com competition with me selling my own stuff on my own YouTube channel. So there, that. But going forward in the future, uh, this is gonna be some really, really valuable training for the people who sign up for the Corporate Citizen Playbook Power Book or the YouTube channel. This Because this YouTube, like, let me go ahead and tell you about the YouTube training. There's so much that I have to cover. This is not like, we go out to lunch and I can tell you all of the things that you need to do to be successful with YouTube. Mm -mm. This is not a one dinner conversation. There's, there's number one, the, the setup and the structure of your YouTube channel. That right there is one of the most important things you'll do. And I can guarantee you that the average person doesn't do this when they start YouTube. Because one of the things you see with people, I call these the YouTube trainers, and there's two schools of art. Don't start a niche. What you should do is go ahead and throw some videos up on YouTube, and whichever videos perform the best, that should be your niche. I'm gonna say that is some of the stupidest and worst advice you can get. It's just, because here's the thing, your niche, right? The topic that you talk about, that forms everything. Like going back years and years ago when I was doing storage auctions, storage auction videos, storage auction book, storage auction blog. Those things work very well together to make me seven figures. But if I came on here and I wanted to talk about Passionate Friday and Business Credit Mentor and I was just throwing out, I would have wasted so much time. That advice is a recipe for you wasting a phenomenal amount of time playing around on YouTube. Don't have a niche. Let your niche emerge. Just go out and play. You, you. Every time I hear that, I just go, it's just stupid. It's just some of the most stupidest advice because here's the thing. You need to have a firmly established niche to do all the things you need to do to make your YouTube channel successful. If you're just up here going to talk about, you know, um, there's a girl, uh, introverted, what is her name? Nomadic introvert. She's in van life. Her whole YouTube channel's about van life. It's about living in the van. It's about... That's her niche, living in the van. And her channel has exploded. But once you get into trying to talk about multiple things on one YouTube channel, and trust me, many people have tried, and I have never seen any of these people blow up. Not a one. I, I mean, seriously, I've never seen any of these people blow up. And one of the things that you have to understand and you have to be aware of is when you start to set up your YouTube channel, the things that you need to do to become patently successful, the things that you need to do, because there, there, there's, there's just so much into setting up a YouTube business and, you know, the corporate side and the things is the things you could do with it from a corporate standpoint 
are mind blowing if you know that you should be doing these and you have your YouTube channel set up in that manner. It's, it's mind blowing. It's fascinating. The things that you can do, the things that you can set up, the things that you can create if you are aware that these things are on the table. <clears throat> and you know, I'm starting to see a lot of the seasoned, larger YouTube channels, they know a lot of this stuff because they're at a point where the money is such a point that they have to go corporate. But once again, I'm just here to tell you, the business of YouTube is amazing. It's powerful. Uh, it can make you a millionaire. Uh, there, there's so many things you can do with YouTube that are just mind blowing, literally mind blowing. But the average person is completely unaware of all of the things that you can do to get your channel monetized without YouTube. Because um, let me explain to you one of the things that's gonna happen. And I'm gonna explain this and I need to change this battery because I'm about to go on for a minute. So hold on one second. All right, this is something that I'm going to do and I'm gonna teach people how to do the same thing. Number one, I'm going to set up a YouTube channel and I'm going to get this YouTube channel monetized, highly monetized before YouTube even says anything. Because here's the thing you have to understand. And this is why having certain skill sets, knowing how to talk to people, knowing how to sell, how to are so important, are so important because essentially, if you know what to do, what to say, you can literally have your YouTube channel making a million dollars without the YouTube monetization. Someone jumped in, no jumper because I mentioned the dude's got tattoos on his neck and you knew what he was, so thank you. No Jumper is a non-YouTube monetized channel. They make a million dollars a month. Now, Adam, I think that's his name, he's, they do all kinds of crazy stuff. They do porn, and this, this is one of the things that I, I'll explain to you that I was having a situation with um, Mid Journey once the non-filtered mid-journey comes out, it's gonna be a game changer because I was trying to make some mid-journey art for um, that Strong Cocaine channel and I was having all kinds of problems. So once again, going back to creating a YouTube channel that makes a million dollars a year outside of the YouTube, because here, here's the thing you have to understand. And this is something that if you were going to YouTube conferences, you would have known about it. In Los Angeles, YouTubers have billboards. YouTubers have billboards. Now, why would a YouTuber have a billboard? Some of these YouTubers have more subscribers than cable television channels have people signed up. I, like in my course, I'm gonna teach you to have a relatively small YouTube channel. Five, 10, 20, 30,000 subscribers. That's relatively a small YouTube channel. And I'm gonna teach you how you can make six figures from that small YouTube channel by setting it up correctly. I mean, it is just mind blowing the things that you can do once you know you can do these things and once you can set them up and once you can pitch them. Uh, there's another guy, I think his name is Thomas Frank, has a YouTube channel with 2.3 million subscribers. He doesn't post on it anymore. 
He has a YouTube channel with 140,000 subscribers. He posts on it frequently. You wanna know why? The channel with 140,000 subscribers makes $100,000 per month. He is completely not even interested in that larger YouTube channel anymore because his smaller YouTube channel, smaller YouTube channels making 1.2 million a year. And Thomas Frank, I met him at a conference. He's a relatively young guy. I think he's under 30. Under 30 years old, making 1.2 million a year. And here's the thing that I have learned with the this Wi-Fi bread. And I really wanted to use that as a YouTube name, but like I said, this other dude got it. Um, typically, you just don't have a lot of deductions. So out of that 1.2 million, he's gonna pay 450,000 in taxes. Cause he, I mean, he, he has no deductions. He has no deductions. So let's, you know, I don't know what's on in his personal life. He may have some real estate. He may have some deductions there. I don't know, but I'm telling you for the people who treat YouTube as a business, the things that they will be able to do and monetize and get will be mind blowing. And this is, this is YouTube in 2023. I'm not talking about YouTube in 2009. If I knew what I know now, if I knew that in 2009, let me tell you what I would've did. I would've started 10 YouTube channels. I would've started 10 and built them a certain way and I would be making a million a month just from YouTube AdSense. If I knew in 2009, what I know right now. And once again, I am, I'm telling you the whole plan. Uh, I was able to make significant money with damaged channels. And I, I have to keep bringing that up because you don't understand that when I start these new YouTube channels, it's gotta be done a certain way because I just cannot do the same thing that I've been doing over here. Well. I could do the same thing, the new formatted version, I could do that and just get that built. Because there was a new channel that was, it was kind of like a faceless YouTube channel that I was building and I was getting subscribers. And it, it's kind of funny, I haven't posted any videos on that channel in months. I've, I've not lost any subscribers, it's kind of funny. but. There's so many things you can do. There's so many things you can set up. There's so many things you can build and you can create once you know that you can do these things. The game is to be, ex the game is to be played. The game is to be played. So for those folks who want to go ahead and create, um, a recession proof income source because here's the thing did they stop producing movies and radio shows during the Great Depression no they did not they actually produced more because people were, wanted to really be entertained when they're downtime so once again we got a lot of stuff that's going on with the YouTube training we're gonna get into breaking out things that you will not see in these YouTube, how to do YouTube videos. Um, I find it interesting that someone who's only been on YouTube a few months will come up with a YouTube course. That cracks me up, you know. Uh, I was like, say, you know, be on YouTube like, you know, at least two years before you come up with a YouTube course. Because essentially there's something that's called, you got lucky. <laughs> There are some people that hit the algorithm right and they just got lucky and then they will put the things that they did in this YouTube course and it will absolutely not work for anyone that's buying this course. It just cracks me up to, to see that someone who's been on YouTube for a few weeks or just a few months put out a YouTube course because here's the thing. There's so many levels to YouTube and I have been around 14, 15 years, 15 years. 
and I've seen so many levels and I've helped people grow their YouTube channels. And this is something I don't talk about because do I know how to get a YouTube channel, get a lot of subscribers? Yeah, if I wanted to talk about crazy stuff, which I kind of went down that path and my channel grew. Uh, I got to a point where I was talking about crazy stuff and I got 30,000 subscribers in one month. So I know how to do that stuff, but from a personal philosophy, from a personal standpoint, I don't wanna do that stuff. See, I'm the barrier, you know, I know exactly what to do, I know exactly what to say, exactly how to set it up, but I, as a person, don't want to put out that type of content. And this is, this is something I know about myself very well. I don't really do well doing things I don't like to do. I just don't. So I've not participated in anything that I really didn't want to do in the last 24 years. If I don't like it, I just don't do it. And this is one of the reasons, like, I, I know exactly what I could do to go ahead and, you know, like I can go out and buy a Ferrari, buy a Ferrari one month, then go out and get the um, the G-Wagon the next month, and then just go ahead and present a very luxurious lifestyle type channel that works, but I don't know what the money is on those channels. Because uh, people like watching what people who are richer than them, they love watching that, they love that. That's one angle. Um, once again, if I wanted to create a man's channel in this current eco cycle of YouTube, men channels that work are ones that degrade and mock women. Those channels kill it. I know that. I don't want to do that content. I, I have no desire to do that content because women have been nothing but nice to me. So um, I'm not going to do that. So once again, I know what I could do if I wanted to get those YouTube views and that YouTube money. But how would you like to learn how to build a small YouTube channel and make up a million dollars a year and keep your sanity? All right, so that's one of the things we're gonna do with the YouTube training. You saw the commercials. The commercials are back at the beginning of the video. We got a lot of stuff that we're gonna talk about. I will see you guys in the next video.